What's up, Edge people? Welcome back to the Layla Edge. It's your girl Shalay, aka the Edgy Chick, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to be talking all about this little guy right here. If you focus on me, focus on me. It's not focusing. But this is a Maron bruise wheel, and we're going to be talking all about this today. And before we start this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're not subscribed, hit subscribe. If you want to see more of me and get interested in what I do on this channel, I do a lot of uh, body paint and face art makeup videos. I do special effects makeup. I do dance videos. I'm starting to get more into vlogs now. Basically, whatever goes on this channel, goes on this channel. If I feel like putting something on here, it's going to go on. Blah, 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 blah. If I feel like putting something on this channel, it's going to go on this channel. Hey, this is my life. I'm, I'm putting me, my life, on this channel. So, without further ado, let's get into this. Oh, I am going to do like a, um, a, like a, what am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? I am going to be doing a demonstration with this product as well. So, yeah. First, let's talk about the product. So if you're a special effects makeup artist, you have to have one of these in your kit. Um, with this thing here, you can do brute, well I do it mainly with bruises, like bruises, discoloration, you can use it for zombie makeup, and you can also use it for body paint um, looks, like use the colors individually because they are very pigmented and I've used them individually before for different like body paint looks. Um, I've been using this product since 2016 when I first started working for Easy Entertainment as, as the special effects makeup artist. And I actually have a video of myself using this product two years ago. I'm going to probably uh, link it below or maybe, you know what? Let's cut it right here and I'm going to insert this video because this video looks terrible. The lighting was terrible. Oh God. The lighting was terrible. The the makeup application was pretty good, but the lighting was terrible. Like the video, the background was terrible. Like the music was terrible. I watched the other day and I just cringed so bad. I was like, oh, I was like debating on whether to delete it or not. But I was like, this video has almost 8,000 views, like a hundred plus likes and thumbs up on it. I'm like, why? Why? What do you see? What? Why? This video is terrible. So hopefully this video gets as much views and likes as the other one because that one was terrible. So let's insert the clip of this video right now. Alright, so yeah guys, that video was absolutely terrible, 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 terrible. Okay, so with this here, I'm going to swatch some of these here. And before I swatch them, let me show you guys um, the looks and stuff that I've done with this product. Because you can do some really like brutal looking bruises with this product. So I'm going to put some pictures here. I don't know what I'm doing guys. Spirit fingers, I guess. <laughs> but uh, yes, so let's swatch these, all right? So the first color, the red color is uh, Bloody Rose, which is this one. And I'm gonna swatch them individually so that you guys can see it. Like, I love this product. Like, I've been, like, I, I have a video on, like the video on it that I did two years ago, like I've been using this product ever since. 
I would definitely recommend this product. It's it's I think it's like under ten dollars. It's no it's no more than twelve dollars. I know, but this product lasts a very long time. It's very pigmented. The colors are creamy. They blend very well. So I really 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 love the product. So I think if you're a special effects makeup artist and just starting out, this is very easy to use. All right. So this is Bloody Rose pigmented, y'all. Like. You can use this for body paint looks as well, all right? So the next color is Burnt Maroon, which is this dark brownish color here. It should be, it's like a like a brown red. Yeah, so it's like a brown red. And that's how it looks. Look, gir girl, these are so pigmented. I love them so much. All right, so the darker color is Midnight Sky. And they're very creamy. Look at that. Midnight Sky right there. And these two here, I don't really use these. Oh, girl. Where was I pointing this at? Like, <laughs> but yeah, these two here, I rarely use these. But when I do, I use them for, like, zombie makeup looks. So, yeah. And I'm just going to put both of these on the hand so I don't have to go back and do it. Yes, so yes. So this is the green and this is the yellow. They're really pigmented. Really, really pigmented. So yeah, so if you're looking for something to start out with, definitely use these. I think they're really, really awesome. And yeah, we're gonna get into this demonstration on how I do a bruise with this product. I usually start off with the red color because usually when you get smacked or punched or something it turns red first before it gets like dark and bruisey so I take and also you need a sponge so and this sponge is a little janky I couldn't find my other ones so yeah you just dip it in the product and then you put it on an area that you want bruised so I'm going to go with around this area here and you're just gonna pat it. And I'm and then the sponge that I'm using, you can't really see it, but the sponge that I'm using is kind of like picked at. I picked at it on purpose so that it could be like really like so it can look realistic basically. So it can look more blotchy. So we're just gonna so we can get the discoloration. And then you blend out the edges, like the excesses on there. So it's gonna look blended out just a little bit. All right, so I'm use okay, so when I do bruises, I usually just only use three colors, which is the Bloody Rose color, the Burnt Maroon, and the midnight sky i usually do the red first as you see here and then i put the darker color in the middle blend out the edges and then i put the darkest color in the middle so yeah we're gonna speed this speed this on up so yeah let's get to it
bruise well one of the bruises there's different bruises you could do with this bruise wheel you could do like Something darker than this, you can do something darker than this. But you can do like lip bruising, you can do like eyebrow bruising. The most bruises I've done was around the eye, eyebrow, and lip. But you can put a bruise practically anywhere. And then you can also do different discolorations of the bruise. So if it's like just done, use more reds. If it's like an older bruise, you use a lot more darker purples and stuff like that. So yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to thumbs it up and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video.